Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to look at the Python interpreter. We're first going to look at PyScriptor. It's an application that we'll use to build programs in Python. and It has an interpreter built in. We'll look at how the interpreter works and what it is. And then we'll use the interpreter as a calculator. We'll just be performing some simple calculations using it and learning about the various operators that will let us do addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Uh, we'll also look at order of operations and potential uh, problems that you can come across when using division. So if you open up the PyScriptor application in your portable Python folder, you'll, it will look like this. PyScriptor is an integrated development environment. It's a tool for building programs. We can uh, create a program up here in this window and if I run it, it just says print hello python and I run it with this run button and I look down here in this window which is the interpreter window I see that it has printed hello python we'll learn a lot more about how this PyScriptor tool works but for now, we're just going to focus on the interpreter and, and what we can do with the interpreter. The interpreter is kind of a virtual machine. It's like a piece of software that runs the code that we give to it. It keeps track of all the information that we're using in our computer program. So if you just type along as I'm doing things, you'll get a feel for how the interpreter works. Um, the first thing you'll notice about the interpreter is that you can't really go back and, and start typing things up in in uh, the area where you've previously typed things or you can't go back and edit things for instance um, it just simply returns you every time you hit return or enter it returns you back to uh, the prompt the last line uh, with this prompt where it's expecting information so what you don't want to do is try to edit things in the interpreter you simply want to give it one line at a time um, in order to find out what Python would do with the information that you gave it, with the, with the code that you gave it. So let's try using it as a, a calculator and see how that works. I simply asked Python for 1 plus 2 uh, and it gave me uh, the answer 3. 2 times 2 and it gives me the answer 4. You can go back over the things that you've typed in previously uh, if you need to reuse some of that by using the up and down arrows. So here you can see I've typed in things and, and I'm able to quickly go back and uh, use them again. So using Python as a calculator is, is fairly uh, simple and straightforward. The operators are pretty much what you would expect. The plus sign for addition, the uh, minus sign or dash for subtraction. The asterisk is what we use for multiplication and for division we use the slash like that. So you're able to do uh, all sorts of calculations this way. Um, there are a couple things that you do want to be aware of. Python does follow the order of operations. So if you were to follow this, if you expected Python to simply calculate, calculate this from left to right, you would uh, come up with 10 plus 10, 20 divided by 10, 20 divided by 10 is 2. But of course we get the answer 11 because Python first does division since it has a, a, a higher precedence in the order of operations. So 10 divided by 10 is 1 and 10 plus 1 is 11. So if you need to ask Python to carry out something uh, first, you can use uh, brackets just as you would in math, the parenthesis, and it will calculate the, it will make the calculation using the order that you've indicated. So here we've indicated that the addition should happen first. We end up with 20 divided by 10 is 2. The other thing you want to be aware of is that when Python divides 2 
integers, two numbers without any kind of fraction part or, or decimal point with a fraction uh, part on it, it will always return an integer. This makes perfect sense if we use numbers that divide evenly. So 100 divided by 10, we see 10 and that doesn't surprise us. But 105 divided by 10 uh, still gives us the answer 10. Now if we wanted to see what the correct answer is, we could make one of those numbers a floating point or, or a number with a decimal place. Uh, so 105.0 divided by 10 gives us the answer we probably would have expected, which is 10.5 or 10 and a half. So when doing division, um, if you need that uh, decimal, uh, that full answer with a decimal point, you must include a decimal point in the, in the division. Otherwise, you'll get an answer where Python simply simply truncates the decimal part. So even in, a, uh, in this division, 109, where um, you might expect it to round up to 11, because the actual answer is 10.9, it's not doing that. It's just dropping the decimal off completely. So that's our really quick first look at using the Python interpreter. And we'll be using it as a calculator just to get a feel for it. Uh, get a feel for how you type things into the interpreter and how it deals with uh, and and how we work with um, the operators.